Last time on the coffin of Andy and Lele, we learned Andrew and Ashley are having a little staycation in their apartment. A quarantine was set up to prevent people from getting in and the sick from getting out. It has been months. They don't have any food left, and the people there don't bring them any. Their parents had decided to leave and not come back conveniently just as the quarantine started. Andrew and Ashley recount their past and their reasons to live in this coffin of an apartment. That is, until the neighbor interrupts by playing some horrible doo-doo sounding juju music. Turns out that he's a cultist trying to summon a demon, but thought it all went awry when he didn't have anything to offer in exchange to leave this place. But that's okay, the demon was nice enough to steal his soul to get him out. Andrew and Ashley investigate to find his body laying on the floor. They hesitate for a moment for what to do, but Ashley has the perfect plan. A delicious one at that. Dinner. Hey there. Good morning. What you up to? I'm looking at this demon summoning instruction manual book thing. Brave. Given things turned out so well for the cultist guy. Debatable. I mean, he was successful up to the point he lacked an offering. Anyway, it says here that the demons don't think of much of humans. Well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah, yeah. So they're only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. I'll take it. You want to ask one to get us out of here? Well, I wouldn't want us to get out of here the same way the cultists did, but I do think this is our best bet for now. So what will we ask from it? I don't know yet. Okay, then what will we bargain with? I don't know that either. Nice. I just barely woke up. Give me a minute. It says here, demon procure human souls, so obviously it's gotta be that. Where to get a soul while stuck in here? Well, I have this cockroach. What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Ashley? What? I wouldn't. Thought about it, I see. Let me keep my thoughts to my own. Don't we already share enough? On second thought, let's not do this. Oh, come on. I'm not going to sacrifice you. We'll figure something out. Let's just set up the ritual for now. What's it need? I'm not done reading this yet, but you can start by replacing the candles for now. Part of me... Me thinks that, uh, Laylee is actually, like, going fucking crazy from, like, being home all the time, and, like, Andrew's actually fucking dead, and she's just been here hallucinating that he's there the entire time. Done. What now? Now we... Still alive and kicking, are you? You've been quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. <sighs> yeah, hi, hello. One of my guys isn't answering. The weirdo one. I think he croaked, but he's just a B-type anyway. Ugh, fine. I'll check it after my round. Is that all we would have had to do to get the door open? Just shut up for two days? Oh shit, he's gonna come in and see all this. No, no, no. Enough. Go stall him at our door. I'll clean this up. He's still gonna find this guy missing. Unless he checks the freezer, which is where all the blood is pointing at. No! Go, before he notices no! we're not home. No! No, don't! And keep him until I've mopped up all the blood. Maybe then he'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. But where would the body be? Or like, I don't know. There should be a corpse, a corpse below that. Yeah, that's what I was about to fucking say. You get to be that corpse if you don't get going already. Don't. No, don't do it. Mop. Hey, Andrew, how you doing? No, no, listen, it'll be a trade. I told you I'm not interested. I've got some good books in here. I'm sure you'd like to read them while you jack off. I thought you said it's fine literature. Oh, yeah, it's real fine. Like how? you have to see for yourself. I'll trade you one book for a pack of noodles. We'll exchange them via the mail slot. But maybe it's a genre I don't like. Read me a sample? Like hell I will! Did you want me to get in character too? I don't want to go into this blind. Who knows what kind of crap you're reading. It's just one pack of noodles. Don't be such a coward. Actually, I think each book is worth at least multi-packs at least. Why is it that you're always such a problem? One book for one pack of noodles? One ten-pack. Push them one by one, and then you'll get the book. Listen here, you. I'm the one holding all the cards here, so I decide what- The pointless negotiations go on and on. How do I run? It's the Y button. Y is the good question. It's just as locked as your door. No. No! Ashley! The warden is coming! Oh, he's coming! Huh? What are you doing here? Oh, shoot! Sadly, the warden soon calls over his buddy. 
you get taken back to your apartment, after which you and your brother's wicked deeds are soon discovered. Guess what? It went so badly for you that I'm going to let you try again. Okay. What? Are you soft locked? Let me try again, I guess. He only he only comes in after I get to like this point. It's not a time based thing. What the fuck am I supposed to do then? Hide the freezer? Hide the, the closet. Garbage? You can hide in the closet. What closet? That closet right there. What what closet? The brown box by the radio. Oh, I Moron. forgot that was even there. Greetings and salutations. Also, oh, that's a wardrobe, not a closet. Huh? Anybody home? Oh, great. Another ship. Get the sense of that, Aaron. What the? How did you get in here? I mean, at least he deserves it. <sighs> Andrew doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. You wonder if it's a good time to tell him none of this is your fault. Come on then, Laylee, let's go play. Sheesh, I thought I got caught there. You did. Happens to the best of us. The warden is very dead. Well, you've done it now, Andy. That begs the question, if you can be very dead, does that mean you can be a little dead? I guess. You've actually killed a man. Like, directly. Yup. I was a little surprised there. <laughs> so where's your mental breakdown? I'm saying it for later. Lay off. Yeah, we'll see how you sleep after this one, huh? Ashley, I am not in the mood for your shit right now. I... I... Oh, looky I, yeah, here. Got the key to room 405. Can we eat him now? He's still dead. Well, that would be a different game if he came back to life. At last, you unlock the door and... Yeah... Very uncomfortable. Mm. Before we go, Ashley. Huh? I just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuse we had for eating that guy just went out the window because of your screw-up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am. But what's your point? My point is that no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what went down here to anyone. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. And it, and it'll no doubt be obvious we did something once this guy's shift ends and the next warden comes looking around. It's the best we disappear while we can. Well, as you might have noticed, I'm trying. Yeah, see, I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of our situation here. Knowing you, you think you're going to find more, or you're going to find mom and dad, but I'm saying all of that is off the table. I hadn't planned on anything actually yet. God, that's even worse. I, okay, so you want me to never contact anyone I ever know ever again? Because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities? Is that it? Yes! Exactly! Yeah, fine, whatever. If you're going to be this flippant about this, it isn't the authorities you need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? I am not going to jail just because you think of yourself as impervious to consequences. So you're going to take this to your grave. Even I have to put you there myself. You don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. Andy, it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you. Now back the fuck off. Who do you think you're talking to? Ugh. It's... I'm stressed out, Laylee. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There's half of a dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. Mm, all good. Can we go now? Yeah, I guess. Okay, finally. Though, Andy... What? I don't give a rat's ass about Mom and Dad or any of my so-called friends anymore. None of them felt it necessary to even answer my calls. Or come fling food up to our balcony. Would be quite a the feat to throw something that high. The point is, no one even came to try. So all my affections officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. Huh. But it's alright, because Andy's here with me. Even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Mmm, sorry. I guess I lost some brain cells too. Can't lose what you don't have. Oh, fuck you! 
All right, all right. Let's get the hell out of here already. Fuck off. <laughs> That's a nice doormat. This is all it took to keep us in. A wooden board. It's okay, Andy. I don't have much muscle either. Your eyes say you're trying to comfort me, but your words do the opposite. Uh, whatever. What's the slip of paper say? The paper slip taped on the door reads 2AB. What's that supposed to mean? I'm pretty sure it's your blood type. Don't know. Don't care. That was Oh, me. that was you. Sorry. Yeah, I spoke over you. I read your mind. Said it for you. Yeah, let's just focus on getting out of here. I mean, he did say that the guy was a B-type. I think you're talking about blood, uh, blood types, yeah. Freezer is full of delicious meat. Yum, yum, yum. Yummies. Ha, uh, stinky. I don't know what that is supposed to be, like this little corner right here. But it looks like something that we would be able to interact with later. It might be a window of some kind. A window that leads into the bathroom. <laughs> ha, yes. I don't know, man. I'd like to spy. Maybe I'll take a shower. Not right now, you won't. I assume that means we don't need anything. But mom, can I take the game console at least? No. On the note reads 2A and 1B. Yeah, I think these are blood types, mama. Another door reads 1 times O, but it's crossed over, probably because they're dead. Got the key to room 302. Looky, a little surveillance camera. Oh crap, are we on it? No, looks like it's recording the second floor. Oh, uh, let me see. Great, there's another ward in there. Is that a gun holster? Did the warden we kill have one? Let's go shoot this guy. Nope, he only had a key to the cultist room and a walkie-talkie. Uh, sigh, verbally. Think there's a warden on every floor? Nah, they probably work in pairs of two. It's not like they have nothing to do anything else and keep curious people away. And pretend to feed us, I guess. Well, even then, how are we getting around him? Don't ask me. Ah, there's a key here. Found the fourth floor key. Half-eaten cup of noodles. When the fridge reads, NOTICE! From now on, AB types won't be given supplies, except if it's someone important. And no, the lady from 302 being hot does not count as someone being important. Stop asking. It's the toilet. There's nothing of interest inside. What about the toilet? I think the Well, they're both type AB, so why are they not giving AB types supplies Various anymore? documents detailing the selling and acquiring of organs. <sighs> what the fuck? I sincerely don't care. Let's get out of here, please. I'm working on it, goddammit. The elevator's out of order. Because of course it is. Go to cancel. What it sounds like when you get beat up in fucking Street Fighter. 1A, but it's crossed over. Oh, so the hot lady... They don't board up the hot lady. That's gross. I wonder why. Looks like someone gave up on assembling their furniture. A nail gun. Doodles and drawings. A bunch of dirty dishes. Your mom's ass crack. The fridge is full of food. Lame. You do it. Whoa, wait, I think that's the I think that's the little girl you guys pushed around when you were a kid. You do it. Hey! Did I give you my permission to go in there? No. Hey, 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 hold up. Don't your dad come any closer? Who are you? Your neighbors from upstairs? What are you doing here? Get out! Well, I found this key, and I thought maybe you want to get out of here? You thought wrong! Get lost, cream head! Huh? What, don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here? That's what I said! Why would I want to get out? I get free food, I can play games all day long, I live like a king. <coughs> I hope this quarantine never ends! Wait, wait, they actually bring you food? Of course! Literally anything I want, all you gotta do is ask nicely. Like bend over and open wide nicely? Ashley! Fuck you! I wouldn't count on it. Get out, both of you! Alright. Leave before I make a scene! Can you, like, board up her door? <laughs> I would like to. Can I have the nail gun and the board, please? I would like to sincerely fuck her over. She's a bitch. Well, that was something. How can we get such different treatment? Why don't I get food? Guess you're just not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? I mean, wasn't she? Whatever. Is it okay to leave her there, though, since she saw us? Probably not, but if you go in there swinging your cleaver, she'll definitely scream. The second the warden comes in and shoots us. Ugh, this is hopeless. I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warden. Well, if we can get this woman up to the cultist room, we've got a soul to offer. How on earth are we going to convince her lazy ass to even leave her room? Beats me, let's just finish setting up the ritual for now. Alright. Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? 
Oh, come on! So ugly am I that I shouldn't even be fed? Or maybe they didn't think it'd be fun to screw you while I'm loitering in the house. Oh, yeah, okay, fair point. And I wouldn't let them anyway. A note on the door reads, to be, or not to be. That is the question, after all. Well, what else were we supposed to do? We set up the candles and find an offering, right? So... We gotta convince her to come upstairs, but we gotta finish setting up, is what he said. Right, but I thought we already did that. Fourth flow. Fuck off. I don't know why I did this whole roundabout. The rune is faded out. I guess I need to paint? Uses blood. You double check the warning it has, has a gun tucked away somewhere, but all you find is a walkie talkie. Useless. Useless. I don't know. At least we'll hear if the water warden tries to contact this one, which then indicate time for us running out of, out of time or whatever the fuck he just said. Big deal. At that point, we're screwed anyway. Hey, what if we call the warden over with this and have the demon eat his soul? That's not a bad idea, actually. Two birds with one stone. Though he'll come in guns blazing. All right. Uh, let me think. While you're at it, I'll get the ritual weddy for us. Weddy? <laughs> Sorry. You get the ritual weddy for us? Babe, get the ritual weddy. What do I need to do? I don't remember. Check the guidebook. So what's needed to finish the ritual setup? Draw some runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what runes, though. I'll just redraw what the guy had already drawn. They seem to work. So a pentagram surrounded by five pentagrams, so a pentagram within a pentagram. You dip your digits in one of the warden's butthole. What? That's right, he has multiple. I have an idea. Oh? Let's have the lady from downstairs lure the warden up here with a walkie-talkie. I don't know why he's British now. And how are we going to make her do that? You know how. Ha. Huh. Alright. Then let's go convince her. Please! Please! Just hear me or out! Or was there something else that still needed to be set up? Just lighting the candles and turning on the radio. But I think it's the best to do that once the warden is on his way. Yeah, I wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. Wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. Third floor. Now, I'm going to save just in case there's something else we can do here. Because I am concerned that if we kill this lady, it might change the ending or something. I don't know. You two again? Sorry, sorry. There's one last thing we forgot to ask you. What? I thought I made myself clear. Actually, no, you're, trans you're, you're not even transparent. Huh? What do you want? Hey, get off me. What's going to happen now is you'll coo into this walkie-talkie. Huh? Tell them that you and his friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I don't understand. You only need to understand we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. No, please! I'll do it! I'll tell him anything! We'll see. Hello? Huh? Who's there? Hi, Dave! It's me! Where's Malcolm? Malcolm's in the middle somewhere! Um, Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Uh, did you, uh, care for a quick visit? A quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. <laughs> well, I'll be. I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean, eh? Was it room 405? I guess that weirdo really croaked. Um. <laughs> nothing. I'll be there, sweet cheeks. You cut the conversation there. Alright, good. Let's go. I let go of her now, and what do you think she'll do? I won't do anything, I promise! Go finish it, and I'll clean- I'll keep her quiet until it's done. What? Get going, dumbass! Fine. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Laylee, catch! Andrew throws you something. It's a sword. Got a light, never mind. You hurry back up to finish the ritual. And the radio. Yeah. Uh, something is here! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, something is here. Uh. Stop. <laughs> Who are you? I can't see. You are asking me my, my name, name, you human. Um. What do you offer? Oh, yikes. Did I mess up? I don't want to pay for its name. I'm here. It's kind of dark, huh? And I'm not doing it with this kind of music on let's... Bloody fucking who? What the hell's that? Shocked, the warden reaches for his gun. Ah, uh, him. I offer him. Well, what the? Ooh. So, um, well, how is it? Human with dark soul, I give you this. 
You got an unidentifiable small object. Hold it for an occasional clairvoyant dream to gauge the troubles ahead. Thank you. The entity has left the chat. And you're still alive, unlike the other either of the wardens. Man, that happened way too fast. The end I didn't get its name, nor to ask a favor. I just, <laughs> just did, did whatever, whatever it wanted. wanted. And it definitely just gave me whatever trash was lying around in its demon pockets. But no matter, the warden is dead. And even if I have one clairvoyant dream, it'll be cool as hell. You decide to not linger on the fact that your soul is apparently a viscous bl pitch black mess. Guess you already knew that. Got key to second floor. Got a gun. And last, time to shoot Andy. What the fuck? Just, Just kidding. kidding. <laughs> I'll probably shoot the lady, though. Jesus, what a fucking dick you are. Looks like the CD player broke. What a shame. Brow. Not a shame. That music was fucking awful. Agreed. Oh, she's dead. She's fucking dead. Sadly, your, plan, your plans of splattering the lady's brains on the wall has been thwarted. Her corpse already rests on the bed. What happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How on earth? I thought you were holding her in place. Well, I let go. Why? You were taking a while. I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver. Lesson learned. How interesting. That you'd want to take your chances with that. For no reason. What are you getting at? You did say she was pretty. Uh, Jealous bitch. Uh, I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah. And I was wondering why you insisted on staying behind. Andrew shoots his load Why you risk getting shot by the warden. Are you unaware that that lady is dead right now? I guess she said no. Screw you, Ashley. Almost got shot too. It's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. What a fucking bitch. <laughs> I fucking hate this character. For the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. And even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. Oh, okay. That makes it fine then. Good to know. Wait, if she tried to shoot him with a nail gun, why is the nail gun still exactly where it was left? I don't fucking know, bro. She probably was trying to go for it. God! I hate it when you get like this. What's your problem? Fucking every time. She's fucking jealous. Every time indeed! Every time some fucking floozy comes around. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not celibate. What's it to you? It's always the same with you. You get to dip your dick in some bitch and the rest of the world disappears. <laughs> you dip your dick. You gotta dip your old dick into some bitch. Not true. Yeah, it is cock brain. No, it's cockroach. Now, it's definitely not time for this. this Look, dude, that's your brother. Fucking chill out. Do you want to get in his pants that bad? Jesus Christ. You Jesus fucking weird. Jesus has nothing to do with this. Jesus has left the chat. Yeah, Jesus has left this chat long ago. <laughs> I just need you to get your pri or priorities. priorities straight. He fucking had to kill her, bro. He fucking saved your ass multiple times. What the fuck are you My talking about? My priority right now is getting out of here. I fucking hate this toxic bitch. Your priority should be me. Blow it out ass. your ass. I'm not having this argument here of all places. I. No. Shut up. Yes. Thank you. I didn't screw the neighbor lady. And on that note, will you back the fuck off of my love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed the hell out of her or something. What she told you? What a tattletale. You're better off without that loose-lipped whore like that. So it really was you. Wow, what the fuck? Yeah, all I did was weed that out a quitter for you. You're welcome. And I wouldn't harass anyone if you'd stop ignoring me when I need you. What the fuck you, is wrong with you? You always need something. And you, you are always, so much better off without this bitch. You always have some bullshit crisis the moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. Bet you bloody love it here why I can't as much take a piss without you knowing. Ha, I bet you'd love it if I killed myself then. What the fuck, Oh my fuck, god, bro? she's one of those What people. the fuck? Where did that come from? I- Fuck! What a prime example of g you! Just you! Haha, <laughs> you would! You would, I already know it! I'm right where you want me, huh? I'll do it then. I can, just for you. You know, I have just the thing for that. Back at your beck and call. Just like it was back when. What? No! Screw you, Andrew! Don't act like I'm the- Oh my god! She's fucking- what the a fuck fucking out of narcissist! Bro, I had to deal with that shit for my entire life! I do not want to fucking deal with it in a video game! For five fucking but minutes! We can, but we can possibly still kill her. Kill who, Ashley? Yeah! You're the main fucking character! Andrew can still kill her? 
I guess. I never once made you do it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's always, I don't want to. I don't want to with you. But well, if you never asked him to do anything, he would never have to reply, Answer me this. What do you want then? Popeye's chicken God, sandwich. I fucking hate this lady. Well, see, if you'd have listened to a word I said, you'd know I... Why? Don't want to spend time with me anymore. I've done nothing but spent time with you for the past... Three months. They're fighting like a married fucking couple. So then why aren't we friends anymore? Oh my god. Uh, of course we I are. I just, just... want to fucking put duct tape over your mouth. Mm. I heard this kind of shit Ugh. for fucking 19 fucking years. Forget this. Can we just go? Just what? Just go. No, answer me. What were you about to say? Stay then. I'm going. Oh no you don't. What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you. Isn't that what siblings do? Just stop. What? Talk to me. Oh my fucking god. It's not my fault. Why did I have to play the fucking it's, asshole it's character? It's entirely your fault, actually. Why did I have to fucking voice the asshole? I didn't lock us in here. I didn't kill the cultists. I didn't even kill the warden. Which one? Neither. You did. And the demon. I'm all innocent. I've not harmed a single soul. Oh my fucking god. Of course not! You make me do it for you! I didn't make you do shit, Andrew. <laughs> you chopped the bastard up by yourself. And you chose to do everything you've done here. She's gaslighting. <sighs> She's using gaslighting 101 right now. Oh my god, and that face. And guess what, Andy? Don't. I chose to lock in that crate. You chose oh, to Oh, you chose to lock blank in that crate. Where that fucking choked. Ha ha ha. Go cry yourself to sleep with that Andy. Poor Andy. Fucking God. I hope he fucking punches your so, fucking lights out. That just came out of your mouth. Ha ha what? It's true. You chose to do it. And you chose me. You chose me. Me. You backpedaling fuck of a brother, you ch- I fucking- I don't even want to finish that. I'm so fucking angry right now. <laughs> Why? Yes! Fucking <laughs> teach her a goddamn lesson! So I guess we're not leaving here together. You can't do it, haha. You won't. You can't, cause I'm the only one you can talk to. Then you can't sleep at night and you can't take it. I'm the only one who can make it go away. Fancy that, when you're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would like to go now. With Andy. I'm ready to go now. Go like shit did? Of course did. not. I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. Oh, so now because your life is in his fucking hands, you don't give a shit about anything else. With you, can we go? Right this now. is what happens when you push somebody to their fucking breaking point because you can't be a decent fucking human being. Yeah, I probably will. I'll make such a scene too. Yeah. So, I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just end you here and be done with it. Though, if you can come up with a compelling reason not to, I won't. Well, I already said... There are sleeping pills for that. Yeah, okay, I got nothing. <laughs> she was like, but I mean, I was... I'd like to go with you very much. You got me there. You gonna shut the fuck up? Though, if you plan on ditching me anyway, then fuck you. If it's not going to be just the two of us, then forget it. <sighs> Should have just fucking done it, man. I don't give a shit about Blank. I'm glad she choked. That's even, what? what a fucking <laughs> ass! Dick. I know you are. No one knows it was us, so what does it matter? As long as it's just us. Are you saying No, we'll dude. You deserve so much fucking better than that. <laughs> even though you're a fucking murderer now, <laughs> nobody deserves to be fucking treated like a, by a fucking narcissist, bro. I know it's a fucking illness, and people need to get help for that shit, but oh my fucking god do I want to fucking punch the shit out of this lady right now. I'll behave if you behave, isn't that how it goes? Who yeah, knows with you, though I'm assuming we're getting out of here in the first place. Unpredictable bitch, this fucking game's got me so riled up right now. Ahaha! <laughs> Ahaha, that's right, our class continue- I don't even want to fucking read the line. What did we name this episode again, Andy and blank? Eh, uh, okay, but I'm not gonna be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so spineless, and I hate Laylee like you wouldn't believe. Huh? She better stay and die here with Andy, so you and I can leave. Fine, whatever that means in practice. I like you, but you're so exhausting. Nonsense. I'm... Invigorating. Invi no, the fuck you're not. You're just fucking toxic. 
Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. Yeah, I hope she shoves your foot through the back of her throat. Yes, and I've got the keys to the second floor and also the warden's gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me She yet. sure did fucking think about it. That was her first- Ha ha ha, maybe later. God, I f I, f I know it's me? probably because she had parental issues growing up compared to uh, the mom, like, fucking abandoning her, but at the same time, it's like, holy shit, dude, this kid's had problems since she was young. Put her in fucking therapy already. Let's get out of here. Andrew, I don't know why I did your voice. It's because I'm too fucking angry to read. No, no. You should save. I thought you were going to save in case you could do something different. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you're right. I'm so fucking stupid. Go to second floor. I have look. I open have window. Great jump. Tell me not, Andrew. I mean, it is only the second floor. Uh, yeah, you'd break a couple bones, but you might live. You really don't want to take your chances with that. Damn it. Isn't there like a rope or something you can use to climb down? We can pull out the hair of that lady and then use it as a rope. That's not gonna work. Hair is too fragile. Have you even. tried? No, I just know. We yeah. climb down the window using this carpet. I'm not sure how we're gonna secure it, though. You hold it while I descend. Oh, yeah, and I'll just jump onto your arms once you're down. Will that work? Maybe if you catch me instead? Hell no, it won't. We've gotta set up something to hold the carpet in place while we climb down. Let's leave it by the window for now. God, I don't carpet. know, put a heavy fucking fridge. How about or a bunch of dead bodies on it? You can move the couch over it. Elevator's out of order. Go to Jesus Christ! For God's sake! Chair. The nail gun! You can use the nail gun. Yeah. Wrong floor. Fuck. Hell yeah. Nail gun. Got nail gun. Is that it? That's all we needed was nails? I mean, I guess if you put enough nails in it, it'll stay. You two of you, the two of you use the nail gun to nail the carpet onto the wall! It doesn't look safe! There has got to be something else. I'm going for it. If nothing else, maybe the carpet slows my descent down. I mean, I guess? Alright, you go first then. Damn right I go first, I'm a lady. God, I hope you fucking fall to your death. <laughs> you climb down or at very least break unladylike. Your ass. We're free. No way in hell are you climbing back up. What if I forgot something? Then it's forever lost. Too bad. Sheesh, well she told me that before. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is that we'll skip town. And then we'll find a buffet restaurant. Oh. And then we'll steal someone's identity or something to continue our lives. Easy peasy, huh? And then, as long as we never come in contact with the law enforcement, we'll live a quiet life and die. And you've got it all figured out. Good God, I have no idea what you're going to do, Just Ashley. Just live off the grid. First things first, skipping town and the buffet. Let's go to a real touristy location. Maybe with some traveler we'll drop their ID. Then we'll rent a place using that. I'm sure we'll find some grunt work somewhere, too. I, even though I don't think that's going to... Shut your mouth, shut your mouth. It'll all work out. Less we'll live under a bridge or something. Like trolls. We'll eat those who won't pay the toll to cross. Ha ha ha. How can you laugh? It's anything but funny. You can do anything but else funny? but laugh. Everything has gone to crap. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Keep it together. I am. Let's start by catching a bus. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy to be out of there too. And otherwise? I'm a hair away from a panic attack. Thanks for asking. I didn't get to say before, but the friend I called while you were downstairs gave me a gift. The, do the demon. Oh, the, de or the demon. Do I even want to know? Supposedly I should be seeing visions of the future in my sleep now, but who knows? Well, I hope you do. It would be handy if, when it comes to avoiding certain things. Yep, so you can relax a bit. I'll keep my sleeping eyes open. But that also means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. Stuck, huh, are you? Oh yeah, completely stuck. Hee <laughs> hee. You get on the bus and drive the hell out of here. Wait, you drive? You drive the bus? Vroom vroom, motherfucker. End of episode one. Jesus Christ, finally. Want to save or something? No, no fuck, fuck you. you. <laughs> I really no, that. no. I really want to We got to save the game. <laughs> oh, my God. God, I won't have any Episode time. two, great. Oh, I'm going. Where are you going? Going down. Well, you got to at least say the outro then. I thought you were stitching this. Yeah, into two episodes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. That was the laziest shit I have ever heard. Bye.
Well anyways, that's it for today's episode of The Coffin of Andy and Lele. What is in store for the future of these two? Will they break free of this cycle of toxic codependency? Find out next time by pushing that subscribe button and maybe they will. Or not. Probably not for a while. If ever. I'm glad to be here, take away, come on.